Hello everyone and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today I'm going to be showing you the result of the Town Hall 11 tournament in which my team got the victory over our 8 opponents. Looking at the bracket we have a few names that we recognize. That would be Playmakers, Hagir Metal, which is the Japanese clan. Uh, Good Warden AI is LB4 Hades. And Lost Meta Black is a Lost Meta clan. And Renee's Town 11 is uh, as I understand it, a combination of Dark Looters and Kronos. So in this video, I'm going to show you one of my attacks from this tournament. And we're going to go to LP4 Hades where they have a League War going on. And I'm going to do two live Town 11 attacks with that army. So we're going to help them get to the City of Real Gladiator League playoffs. But before I do the live attacks, I'm going to show you all of our final round bases against Renes. So stay tuned for that. So this is my favorite strategy overall for this tournament. I think I use it for almost every war. Uh, it's basically a Queen Charge Miner with a Jump Spell. I don't think I use a Jump Spell in every single raid, but I did for most of them because it's much safer than failing a wall break and then knocking the Town Hall or something. So you really have to be careful in these tournaments. So basically this is all the attack is. Just funnel one side with a baby dragon or something like that. Or whatever you can get away with, really. So we funneled the 11 o'clock area with a baby dragon, and we also funneled the 2 o'clock area with a baby dragon as well. And then the queen's just going right down the middle, and I'm going to place the jump spell by the air defense so it covers the Inferno Tower compartment, and she can reach the Eagle Artillery from there as well. And then the third thing that's important about the jump spell is it also leads to the wizard tower compartment. So the queen's going to be able to walk into that area and take out the sweepers, which really helps the pathing for the miners. The miners are coming down at the uh, four o'clock area. They encounter a Tesla farm pretty early, but under the warden aura and a heal spell, it's not a big deal. So, Warden ability over the Bomb Tower negates possibly a heal spell. And it only had room for two heal spells, so it's pretty critical that you get the Warden ability correct uh, in this type of raid. So, once the healers switched from the Queen to the Miners, and the healers had full health and weren't really in any danger, that means that. I probably don't even need this heal spell at all, because healers provide so much value, it is ridiculous. So since the queen was able to get that bomb tower that was by the inferno tower before she went down, we were able to secure this triple and not even need that uh, last heal spell. We're going to do that strat in the League War right after I show you our final round bases. So here we go. We're going to start with Anonymous's base and then work our way down. So Anonymous. So, of course, I'm going to have the links to these bases down below, but they could be slightly different trap placements because we were uh, facing different opponents every time, so we changed up the bases a little bit. Uh, we changed up the traps a little bit to try and cut them off, uh, especially if we knew what kind of strats they used. And this is my favorite base by far. Of course, one star, can't go wrong. But... Man, it is really hard to look at, to even look at that base. So, base links are in the description. Now let's move on to the live rates. So on this base, we're going to use the minor attack by 
dropping the queen by the town hall. She's going to go and attack the archer tower eventually, and then turn around to the bomb tower and the king pad. Hopefully. And because this decoration glitch doesn't work anymore, we're going to be able to take out the eagle artillery. Ideally, then, she'll go to the dark elixir storage and then to the warden, and just walk around to the inferno tower. I think we're going to have to do some funneling up here with like a baby dragon or something to make sure that she goes into the inferno tower compartment. Otherwise, I'll just leave my stone slammer for that inferno tower. Uh, and then miners can be from this bottom side. And we'll have the king somewhere around here to funnel. And he'll go like over here to funnel that. If I don't need the slammer for the inferno tower, I'm going to drop it towards this bomb tower at the back end. And hopefully the sweeper is going to be gone by the time I do that. So yeah, let's give it a try. Two rages, three heals, baby dragon. Freeze and haste. Let's do it. Queen, healers, two wounds for the mortar. Probably didn't need that. Oh, that is interesting, though. Able to get the archer tower. Hopefully, Queen goes for the uh, lab. Yep. Be prepared with a rage. Yeah. If I had like two wizards, I could have used that. But. Just don't have that at the moment. So, are you going to go for the eagle? Thank you. And where to next? Perfect. Okay. I can start funneling. Alright, baby dragons can take that Tesla. So now, hopefully, the queen is going to walk in. Looks good so far. Alright. I'll take this so far. Pretty good. Rage the miners and warden ability. And heal. So these miners aren't doing very well, but hopefully having these balloons will help. Okay, so it's just going to be a time issue. So can we get it done in time? That is the question. Let's get all the defenses down, then we can drop this loon. Perfect. Okay. Didn't miss anything on the corner. So it looks like it's a triple. Fantastic. So next, we're going to try and clean up number 15 here. We're going to go with the Queen Charge and a Jump Spell directly onto this cannon here and take out the Eagle Artillery and hopefully get into these core areas and then we can have Miners in from 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock if the Queen takes out these buildings first before this Wizard Tower. So then the funnel is uh, on that side. So the problem with this 
The problem with this raid was that the clan castle actually wasn't a lava hound. So that's very, I don't know, unlikely. So just got unlucky uh, with that break. But it should make a queen charge a lot easier to do. So air skellies on the Inferno Tower is a good sign. But yeah, having all these archers and not being able to poison them all at the same time really hurts. So we're going to fix that by taking out the clan castle with the clean charge. And then hopefully we're going to get this triple. Okay, so let's plan out the funnel. We have an air defense on each side protecting from a baby dragon on these barracks. So what we're probably going to do is wizards on the barracks and have the queen taking the tanking the archer tower. And we'll have Probably a baby dragon on the Stark Barracks. But I do have to check if the Teslas are on that side. Because I'm not sure if they are. And then hopefully we could just jump straight in and the Queen will go for the Eagle Artillery. Should work out. But we're going to need a couple of wizards just in case this cannon picks them off. Because the wizards walk really weird sometimes and they'll just wander into range, even though they don't need to. So yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so Tesla is really in the corner there. Ha. Huh. That's going to be tough to deal with. I'm thinking... Probably just going to go with a baby dragon and a couple of wizards. Or could do a giant. Yeah, I'll just do a giant. Okay. So we're going to edit this army composition with a giant and a couple of wizards. Don't need that or that. And how many troop spaces do we have left? Zero. Perfect. Alright, so let's trim that up. And let's get right into it. So. Queen. Wizard. Baby dragon. Loon. Healers. It's looking pretty good. Perfect. Reach her up. Queen is still in the rage range, that's good. A little bit lucky there. Okay, then we have a poison spell. Don't think I need a rage spell. Yep, should be good. Now we rage. Okay. Should probably get rid of that collector. Perfect. Okay. And now, without the eagle up, these miners can survive a lot longer.
and heal up when the miners get there. And these miners will take out the air defense. Queen is doing hella work. Perfect. Drop some clean up. Now the queen's down. Now the queen's down. We only have one heal left, so it's gonna be pretty close. Unless we can get a bunch of miners in to the middle. But I think the slammer's got it. As long as we have time. Pop the slammer to save a little bit of time. Hopefully, that'll work out. 13 seconds. Looks like we're good. And that is why Queen Charge Miners is the best Town 11 attack strategy right now. You should go use it. There are a couple of ways to do it. You can use a jump, you can use wall breakers. You don't even need uh, wall breakers or a jump if you have the right base. So, thank you for watching. I've been Ray's Gaming, and I'm out.